It was an historic night in California as voters recalled the judge in the Brock Turner case. It is the first time a judge has been removed from office there in decades. 2 News' is Kelly King is live to walk us through the details breaking overnight. Northern California voters ousted Judge Aaron Persky from office after many critics say he was too lenient. Persky gave former Stanford swimmer and Oakland native Brock Turner six months in jail instead of prison time. Turner sexually assaulted an unconscious woman on campus outside of a fraternity house in 2015. Prosecutors argued for a seven-year prison sentence, but Turner only served half of his six months. The case gained national attention after the victim read her statement in court, and that statement circulated online. Shortly after sentencing, a Stanford University law professor launched the Persky recall effort. The recall election is also viewed as one of the first electoral tests of the Me Too movement. At last check, Brock Turner is living in Bellbrook and working in Germantown. He's registered as a Tier 3 sex offender and must report for a new photo every 90 days with the Greene County Sheriff's Office. Kelly King, 2 News Today, working for you. Good morning. Judge Aaron Persky has remained largely silent as the campaign to remove him from the bench has built over nearly two years now. But now, in his only television interview, he's defended the sentence that has been so widely condemned. If a judge is thinking in the back of his or her mind, how is this going to look? How will it look on social media? Will I be vilified on cable news? That's the wrong avenue. We can't do that. We shouldn't do that. Persky's sentencing of Brock Turner meant the former Stanford University swimmer walked free after spending just three months in county jail for sexually assaulting an unconscious woman. You did have some idea before you passed this sentence that it would be a controversial sentence. Yes. And by my ethical constraints, by the rule of law, I had to completely tune that out. In court, Turner heard the words of his victim, a powerful statement that was widely shared on social media. You took away my worth, my privacy, my confidence, she told Turner. I don't want my body anymore. I was terrified of it. If this case were before you today, the Me Too movement being what it is, might you have been more sensitive to the feelings of the society around you? Well, let me say again, on, based on the code of judicial ethics, I can't really discuss the details of the case or my, my decision making. But I can say that generally, the answer is absolutely not. Judge Persky's sentencing of Turner followed the recommendation of the county probation department. The California Commission on Judicial Performance concluded there is not clear and convincing evidence of bias or judicial misconduct. When we make a decision in a civil or criminal case, we're always disappointing one side or the other. And so if one side or the other that's disappointed is able to generate outrage, get it out there on social media, raise a lot of money based on one decision, it just, it's just not right. A million people signed an online petition calling for Persky's removal from the bench. The recall campaign has raised more than a million dollars. He's raised about 400,000 to fight back. There are even lawn signs now that have my face next to a mugshot of the defendant. Certainly. For a while, you seem to be the most hated man on the internet. Probably so. Fire judge I accept responsibility for every decision that I've made as a judge. But what I cannot accept are the downstream consequences, the collateral damage, if you will, to the next case, to the next judge's decision, to even the next juror's decision. I mean, this notion, the power of social media, the power of politics, if it affects jurors, then where are we? We've completely corrupted our system. For weeks after he sentenced Turner, Judge Persky said he had to come and go from this courthouse using the back entrance uh, usually uh, reserved for inmates. Uh, since the recall effort began, he hasn't been hearing cases here. He's been working only as a night court judge. Gail? All right, John Blackstone, thank you. It's, it's good to hear.